No I presidential decided, run? Why would you wish that on a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I never shut any doors, but I also think so many people think politicians just sit behind the scenes saying, how can I get more and more power and what's next? For me, I've never run for something unless I feel I can do something and I've always been the last to declare because it has to be real. And if this is the last thing I ever run for, I will die happy in terms of my elected public service. And if there's something else that's coming, it has to be compelling because of the sacrifices. You know, we didn't get into this, but it's a tough moment to serve. I mean, people dehumanize you. In good ways, they think you're the most amazing thing. And I'm like, trust me, talk to my wife. I didn't do the dishes last night. Like, <laughs> I'm a human being. Mayors are people too. But they also dehumanize you negatively. And like, you're a piece of You don't know who you, you, this, that. And these are people who have never spent a moment with you as a human being. And so I would say to our next mayor, support her. Whether you voted for her or not, know she's a human being who loves the city. Both of them, you know, Bass people are like, I hate Caruso, Caruso people, I hate Bass. They both love this city, trust me. If they put themselves forward to run this city and to go through the life that is this job, it is a tough one. And don't let one or two percent, no matter where they are on the spectrum ideologically, one or two percent be so loud and so narcissistic that they drown out the 98, 99 percent that do want to compromise, that do want to move things forward, and that are okay talking to each other civilly. I can kind of conclude with this. We've lost the commons. There's not a lot of common decency anymore. We've forgotten about common ground, and we have to fight for the common good.